Welcome back to another episode of TVGP's We Roguelike. It's a show we play every roguelike in history. I'm your host, Boston. And me, as always, is Moop here. Hey, you. We're recording this at the end of the day, which is, we usually record this at the beginning. Uh, so apologies in advance, because uh, this episode of TVGP this week broke us. So, listen yep, to episode really 744 did. for all the craziness. Um, I didn't have a lot of time to play much of anything uh, this week, this was kind of a busier week than normal. Um, I did get a couple of good runs in. They haven't beat a boss yet. I'm starting to get concerned that might not happen in our four-week journey here. Um, but I did do a little bit of switching around with my spells. Um, I still have the Earth Shields, because that, that, I feel like that's that's a real key I for... I started using that this week as well. Uh, yeah, what do you think of it? I like it a lot. I'm, at, yeah. I'm and I'm actually just tweaking the rest of my build to to do a more focused, like close combat one. Yeah, because I was using um, a more range based, but I'm mm -hmm. not good enough to dodge out the way, and I keep falling down holes when I do try and dodge out the way. Me too. Which I just twenty five health is a lot for falling down a hole. Yeah, I I have, I feel like. Especially in this game, I have runs like that where I'm like, oh, that was a really good run. Like, I made it to a boss and kind of smacked me down, but that's not too surprising. Then, like, the next run I'll have, I'm just falling in every single hole I run into until one of them kills me. And then the rest of my runs are fine. I, I don't know what it yeah. is about, like, that one run a week where I'm just yeeting myself to a spike pit over and over again. Uh, <laughs> so I pro... I pro probably need to work on my basic spell get to use a different one for that i'm thinking that's what i've been trying uh, to do this week yeah i spent a lot of time rotating on it. i found one i really really like but with the imaginary build that i have in my head i don't think it's ideal for it which um, one did you which like which is it's the triple firing uh, fire basic spell where it fires okay, two small explosions that. and then one very big explosion which does mm. a whole bunch of knockback and okay. then all stun enemies so it works really, really well, um, but I'm also investing more in the relics and stuff. Like I, I used right. to carry the slice of cake with me. Now I'm carrying the the, the, the red spectacles with me. What do those ones do? Um, they give you health back when you hit a critical. Oh, all right. That could be pretty good. So I'm thinking I might need to change my primary to a more fast-hitting Basic. Right. So it hits more, maybe doesn't do as much damage or not as much knockback, but there's more chance of criticals if you hit more frequently. Um, yeah, because that was the thing I was struggling with this week is I, for a little bit, I've been using the like the stone fists as my primary attack, but it's so slow. I felt like I was getting hit by enemies too much before I could get out of the way because I was just trying to get like enough hits in. So I've gone back to the the default, I think it's wind, where it's like those three curving shots, like the very first one you get. I, f I feel a little bit better with that one. So I, I also unlocked a lightning one, which is like a very, it's like a zip, 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 zip. Oh, okay. So it does a similar effect, like two, two light hits and one big hit for, as the fire one does, except it seems like it hits multiple times for each one of those rather than just being big hits gotcha i wonder um, if i have that one or not uh so the best thing about the spectacles is they are part of a set the set in question the other item is a cursed item which is the cloak which turns you into the sanguine outfit which mm. gives you health whenever you hit a critical and whenever you kill an enemy so wow. all right okay if you go in with the glasses and then get the cloak it seems like you don't get any of the negative effects it just turns it into the good item and you don't lose that health cap so, okay. I'm always going in with a, a relic that's a part of a set. So if I can find that other thing in the set, I end up with a much better roll because of it. I'm just right. trying to find my signature and um, other spell to go with. I already know what my dash is. My dash is the ice dash because the ice dash is specifically the decoy ice dash. Mm -hmm. it's so cool. It's basically Sub Zero's teleportation slide where he leaves a oh, decoy he leaves himself. Like a, I see. Okay. And hmm. then whenever anybody touches it, they go to it, they attack it, they freeze. Man, I'm going to have to get that one too. Interesting. 
I, I like your idea about the relics, and especially the set, because it seems like there are a bunch of items in the shop, but not necessarily like 200 of them. It doesn't seem like it's an impossible number, so the the idea of you being able to build a set or kind of have a, a complementary build to the one you're going in as seems like the chances uh -huh. are, are pretty high there. Yeah, and I ended up having a really good run. I got to like the second dungeon boss, so six levels in total. And like right. my relic slot was full, and like, all of my spells were all like enchant enhanced. Mm -hmm. So like the fire explosion basic spell, it was setting people on fire uh, uh, with oh, the wow. last hit. Right. Uh, so it worked out really nicely. Like, I'm I, I'm starting to enjoy the build I'm using. I, I, I'm going to switch to my lightning thing because I like that critical thing. Mm -hmm. But then the best thing is you can get uh, a couple of relics test and normal, which increase your critical rate. So I figured ah. when I go into a run, if I go into a run with this setup, I'm just going to focus on trying to get crit raising items. Mm -hmm. uh, like there's a sword that reduces the damage of all of your spells, but your basic spells, it is cursed. So it's all of the other spells get reduced damage, but your basic hits harder and has like double the critical hit rate. Jeez. Wow. Okay. So if I get that with the Sanguine Glasses... Right. You got a real me... build going. Yeah, with health regeneration, and then if I can get the whole outfit, then it's that and health regeneration when I kill people, which is my problem, is I, just like other roguelikes, I can't dodge and not take damage to yeah. save my life. Literally to save my life. Yeah, and I, I gotta give this game a lot of credit, because I feel like it it telegraphs normal enemy attacks really well like this the guys with the spear their spear flashes red like a lot of the enemies they're really clear about when and how they're going to do their attack i just don't have the muscle memory yet to say like oh now i need to dash backwards because they're going to do this attack or I'll, you don't forget you can't dash through a dude that's not how that works um you know it's all that kind of muscle memory stuff that i still don't have um yeah but yeah i, I like you i'm i'm every time i play i'm more and more impressed especially with this is not a thing that a lot of roguelikes have is kind of crafting a build i feel like in a lot of deck builders that's kind of the name of the game over there um but i feel like for a lot of the the non-deck builders we usually play it feels like you stumble into like oh well this item synergizes with that one and now it's super powerful and you're probably going to win this run it's not like well i need these four or five of items and those all work together in this kind of kind of cool crazy build we don't we don't see that that often it's kind of nice yeah yeah i'm i'm liking like it gives me the option like yeah to to be able to do that like i was surprised when when i started with that slice of cake at first and it's like how frequently because you pretty much get like five stores on like every floor yeah. like of varying different types so there's always the option there to to go in and and see what they have and you right. don't have to make the decision until you know you're ready to face the boss. Yep, yep. So it's a it's a, it's a nice way of giving yourself the chance to produce that build before you know before you fight the mini boss before you move on to the next yeah letters. Yeah, I I'm I I think I'm I'm really impressed at how well designed this game is. I think going into it, it seems like a fairly simple thing. It's like yeah, we got like an action paced action you know kind of twitch thing here but i think the more that we dig into mm -hmm. it every layer we peel back is sort of like all right you this is like a really deliberate design choice like this feels like this feels like one of those uh games that's been early access for a while that kind of it, it worked out really well for it like it everything kind of hooked for long enough to make it even better yeah and like I said, it seems seems very basic at first, but I'm actually yeah. genuinely liking this a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's really impressive. It it's it's pretty great. Uh, we do have one more week with it though, so hopefully we can beat a boss. Maybe. Uh, uh, I through. I already did it. Yeah, I already I, did it. I got uh, to the second boss. I still gotta. I still gotta get there. Gotta get that. Gotta get the that. The thing good I build. had to teach myself was don't try and DPS them. Yeah, it's, it's like a it's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. Get yourself out of that situation. Yep. And you know, dodge those attacks. Dodge the attacks, then hit him when he's dazed. 
Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, all right. That's our episode this week. Thank you very much, everyone, for listening. I'll see you on the next run. Bye. Bye.